We are certainly blessed here in WA with thousands of kilometres of pristine coastline and clean waters holding an abundance of great seafood. Today I'm visiting Perth's favourite island getaway, Rottnest Island, for a food experience seafood lovers must try. The Wild Seafood Experience is a three-hour ocean-to-plate cruise departing from Thompson's Bay on board the Crusader 3 on the hunt for our very own WA Rock Lobster. So Mary, cracking day. I mean, fantastic place to be working. What should, tell me about your tour. Oh, well, the Wild Seafood Experience is uh, its like, like a real seafood, uh, foodie, hands-on experience. So we're um, actually, you know, WA locals. I live here, my husband lives here. We're very passionate about our seafood here. My husband's dad used to be a, a cray fisherman up on Wedge Island, so he really is very uh, all about the ocean. Um, so what we do is we go out um, from Thompson Bay on Rottnest. Um, we go about a mile and a half offshore. There's loads of reef all around Rottnest, so um, very close uh, very close to the shore. So we don't have to go too far. We pull up six lobster pots, and we always catch lobster because Rotto's amazing for lobster fishing. Now, this is what I've been waiting for. It's not every day you get a chance to pull up a cray pot out of the waters of Rottnest Island, and if you're lucky, it's holding some of our prized catch. Have a look at this guy, just out of the water, ready for lunch. Is there any spot better than this? We're sport rotten here in WA. And then what we do is when we've got our catch, we go back inshore to a lovely tranquil bay like Parakeet Bay on the northeast side of the island. And that's where we start to cook up the seafood banquet. So we start with mandra blue swimmer crabs. Our local fisherman catches fresh for us in the mandra estuary. We have oyster, we have west coast octopus marinated, we have salmon and we have uh, shark bay prawns. And they're all served up in the first course. So it's just really fresh local produce. And because we've got a small kitchen here, we can't go too fancy. So it's just got to be fresh, local, and you rely on the, just the great quality of the ingredients. So the second course is sea mullet and we get that from Mandra um, and it's quite an underrated fish here in Western Australia. You probably know it being a seafood chef yourself. Yeah, I love it. It's one of my favourite fish. So... Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Mm. We're on similar wavelengths. <laughs> um, it's a gorgeous fish when it's marinated in a teriyaki sauce as we do it. It's a beautiful, fresh fillet, uh, taco fillet. And then, of course, we go to the main course, the lobster. King of the ocean. We get these huge lobsters out of the ocean and they're just cooked straight for the guests in front of their eyes. So if you want to, you can come down and have a go. Sounds you know? good to me. All right, guys, so the, for me, the perfect way to cook a lobster, obviously split it. If you want to clean out all the, all the mustard, that's great. If not, it's OK, because that's extra, extra flavour. We're just going to lift our barbecue plate up and pop it down. I usually put it down shell side first, and I'll just pop a little bit of salt and pepper on it, OK? And then I'm going to close the lid and bake it for about six minutes. And then right at the end, I'm going to flip it just to just to just to sear it, and then and then finish it off with some nice garlic butter. A delicious seafood banquet centered around a freshly cooked lobster from the day's catch, plus blue swimmer crabs, sashimi salmon, freshly shucked oysters, and a heap more. It's living like a king. As a chef, you don't get much better than this sweet Western rock lobster caught right here out of the Bay of Rottnest. Sustainable seafood at its best. Sink your teeth into an experience like this. For more info on this amazing tour, visit this website.